which of the following is the main function of the cardiovascular system? Two options are digestion, respiration, transportation of nutrients and oxygen or excretion. The correct answer is C that is transportation of nutrients and oxygen. The cardiovascular system's primary role is to transport nutrients, oxygen and hormones to cells throughout the body and to remove metabolic wastes. Question number 2. What is the largest artery in the human body? Two options are pulmonary artery, femoral artery, carotid artery or aorta. The correct answer is D, that is aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body, originating from the left ventricle of the heart and extending down to the abdomen, where it branches off into smaller arteries. Question number 3. Which chamber of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs? Two options are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium or left ventricle. The correct answer is C that is left atrium. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs via pulmonary veins and pumps it into the left ventricle, which then distributes it to the rest of the body. Question number 4. Dear friends, you are attending the MCQ quiz of the most repeated and most important questions based on cardiovascular system. And this is the part 1 of this series. The second part will be uploaded tomorrow. Dear friends, it's a challenge for you. Let's see what will be your score out of these 25 questions. So watch this video till end to see your level of knowledge in cardiovascular system. Let's continue. Question number 4. Dear friends, there is one more announcement. Dear friends, as per your suggestions, we have started a new YouTube channel where we are conducting exam or assessment based on science topics. I'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even NEET exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there. And the link of the channel has been given in the description. Let's continue. Question number 4. What is the function of the walls in the heart? Two options are to increase blood pressure, to prevent the backflow of blood, to pump blood or to supply oxygen to the heart muscle. The correct answer is B that is to prevent the backflow of the blood. Heart walls ensure unidirectional blood flow through the heart chambers, preventing backflow and maintaining efficient circulation. Question number fifth, which blood vessels carry blood away from the heart? Two options are veins, capillaries, arteries or venules. The correct answer is C that is arteries. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart to the tissues of the body while veins carry oxygen-depleted blood back to the heart. Question number 6. What component of blood is responsible for clotting? Two options are red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma or platelets. The correct answer is D that is platelets. Platelets are small cell fragments in the blood that are essential for clotting, helping to prevent bleeding by forming plaques in blood vessels injuries. Question number 7. 
where does the exchange of gases and nutrients occur in the cardiovascular system? Show options are arteries, veins, capillaries or heart. The correct answer is C that is capillaries. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels where the exchange of gases, nutrients and waste products occurs between the blood and tissues. Question number 8. What is the function of the coronary arteries? Two options are to supply oxygenated blood to the heart muscle, to carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs, to remove waste products from the blood or to regulate blood pressure. The correct answer is A that is to supply oxygenated blood to the heart muscle. The coronary arteries supply oxygen rich blood to the heart muscle ensuring it has the oxygen and nutrients needed for the effective pumping. Question number 9. Which part of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the lungs? Which part of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the lungs? Two options are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium or left ventricle. The correct answer is B that is right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs via the pulmonary artery for oxygenation and removal of carbon dioxide. Question number 10. What is the name of the double layered membrane surrounding the heart? Two options are endocardium, myocardium, pericardium or epicardium. The correct answer is C that is pericardium. The pericardium is a double layered sac that encloses and protects the heart, providing a lubricated environment for it to move smoothly within the chest cavity. Question number 11. What is the normal resting heart rate range for an adult? Show options are 40 to 60 beats per minute. 60 to 100 beats per minute, 100 to 120 beats per minute, or 120 to 140 beats per minute. The correct answer is B that is 60 to 100 beats per minute. The normal resting heart rate for adults typically ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute, indicating a healthy and well functioning cardiovascular system. Question number 12. Which of the following blood vessels has the highest blood pressure? Two options are capillaries, veins, arteries or venules. The correct answer is C that is arteries. Arteries experience the highest blood pressure as they receive blood directly from the heart which pump its forcefully throughout the body. Question number 13. What is the primary function of red blood cells? Two options are to fight infection, to carry oxygen, to clot blood or to produce antibodies. The correct answer is B that is to carry oxygen. Red blood cells RBCs contain hemoglobin, a protein that binds to oxygen and transport it from the lungs to tissues and organs throughout the body. Question number 14. Which structure in the heart is known as the pacemaker? Two options are AV node, SA node, bundle of his or Perkins fiber. The correct answer is B that is SA node. 
the synotrial SA node located in the right atrium generates electrical impulses that set the pace for the heart rhythm, making it the natural pacemaker. Question number 15. Which blood vessels carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart? Show options are aorta, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery or superior vena cava. The correct answer is B that is pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart, completing the pulmonary circuit. Question number 16. What is the thickest layer of the heart wall? Show options are endocardium, myocardium, epicardium or pericardium. The correct answer is B that is myocardium. The myocardium is the thickest layer of the heart wall composed of cardiac muscles tissues. The myocardium is the thickest layer of the heart wall composed of cardiac muscles tissues that is responsible for contractile function. Question number 17. What condition is characterized by the narrowing of the coronary arteries? Two options are aneurysm, thrombosis, atherosclerosis or arrhythmia. The correct answer is C that is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a condition where plaque builds up inside the coronary arteries, causing them to narrow and reducing blood flow to the heart muscle. Question number 18. What is the main role of white blood cells in the cardiovascular system? Two options are to transport oxygen, to fight infections, to carry nutrients or to regulate blood pressure. The correct answer is B that is to fight infections. White blood cells WBCs are part of the immune system and play a crucial role in defending the body against infections and foreign invaders. Question number 19. Which type of blood vessel is primarily involved in nutrient and gas exchange at the cellular level? Two options are arteries, veins, capillaries or lymphatic vessels. The correct answer is C that is capillaries. Capillaries with their thin walls facilitate the exchange of nutrients, gases and waste products between the blood and surrounding tissues. Question number 20. What is the term for the volume of blood pumped by the heart per minute? Two options are stroke volume, cardiac output, heart rate or blood pressure. The correct answer is B that is cardiac output. Cardiac output is the volume of blood the heart pumps per minute calculated by multiplying the heart rate by the stroke volume mean amount of blood pump per beat. Question number 21. Dear friends, there is one more announcement. Dear friends, as per your suggestions, we have started a new YouTube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics. I am sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even NEET exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams, then please visit and attend the test over there. And the link of the channel has been given in the description. Let's continue. What is the term for the relaxation phase of the heart cycle? Two options are systole, diastole, 
मायोकार्डियम और पेरिकार्डियम द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दैट इज डायस्टोल डायस्टोल इज द फेज ऑफ द कार्डियक साइकिल व्हेन द हार्ट मसल रिलैक्सेस एंड अलाउ द चेंबर्स टू फिल द ब्लड क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 Which wall is located between the left atrium and the left ventricle? The options are tricuspid wall, pulmonary wall, aortic wall, or mitral wall. The correct answer is D. That is mitral wall. The mitral wall, also known as the bicuspid wall, is situated between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Regulating blood flow between these chambers. Question number twenty-three. What is the role of the vena cava in the cardiovascular system? Two options are to carry oxygenated blood to the body, to carry deoxygenated blood to the heart, to pump blood to the lungs, or to supply blood to the heart muscle. The correct answer is B. That is to carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. The superior and inferior vena cava are large veins that retain deoxygenated blood from the body to the right atrium of the heart. Question number twenty-four. What is a heart attack medically known as? The options are arrhythmia, angina. Myocardial infarction, hypertension. The correct answer is C. That is myocardial infarction. A myocardial infarction, commonly known as heart attack, occurs when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked for a long enough time to cause damage to the heart muscle. Question number twenty-fifth. Which component of blood is responsible for carrying oxygen? Two options are white blood cells, platelets, plasma, or red blood cells. The correct answer is D. That is red blood cells. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen and transport it from the lungs to the Tissues and organs of the body. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of twenty-five questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.